News. All right, folks, today certainly wasn't a bad day across Southern Colorado, and tomorrow's probably going to follow pretty similar suit, really, especially through the first half of the day, and temperatures not going to get that warm, so maybe just even a smidge cooler where we are out there right now. I still think we make it to about 80 degrees tomorrow. There will be a chance of some isolated storms going on in the afternoon and early evening. That doesn't mean everybody's going to see rain tomorrow, as a lot of the storms that we see, at least in the Pikes Peak region, will be pretty few and far between. In Pueblo, I think we have a dry day in store. Plenty of sun to begin. We'll have some clouds in the afternoon. You get up there pretty close to 90 degrees. Anytime you can get to the second day of July and you're not even touching 90, well, that's a pretty good day. And that's exactly what we're going to see out there for tomorrow. With that in mind, let's look at the rain chances during the course of the afternoon. We'll pick up our hour by hour forecast model here at three o'clock and you can see just a couple of spotty green blobs right here. Again, nothing that's going to be widespread or significant. I do think there's a better opportunity for storms on the far southeast plains and keep an eye on that area too, because this is where we have better fuel in the atmosphere for tomorrow tomorrow to develop some additional storms. I think as we head toward evening, but I think a lot of that probably develops after dark. Some of those storms on the plains could end up being fairly big tomorrow night. We could even have a strong storm or two here across El Paso County by about nine or 10 o'clock uh, tomorrow evening. Those storms will then make their way eastward into western Kansas by about two or three in the morning, and that paves the way for a pretty quiet start to the day on Wednesday. We'll probably start off some clouds and temperatures in the 50s and 60s. So some really pretty comfortable weather around here uh, over the next few days or so severe weather potential again, not gangbusters tomorrow really anywhere, but it will be favoring the far southeast plains. Some of that might sneak, as I said, up into western uh, or I should say eastern parts of El Paso County, but not until later on tomorrow night as a little bit more energy comes into the frame. So if we're looking for additional rain chances, well, again, this shouldn't say Sunday up there. That should actually say Wednesday. We're going to talk about some spotty storms in the afternoon on Wednesday for the Springs Canyon City and Wilden Park. Again, nothing terribly warm, just seasonally warm around here, and if you want some cooler weather. Well, we've got that in the forecast around here too. get a load of this business after Wednesday. We don't make it out of the 70s there for a couple of days, both Thursday and Friday. Thursday or 4th of July looks dry. Friday will bring back some isolated storms. If you have a weekend plan, I know the 4th falls during the week, but if you got the weekend plans, the traditional weekend plans, I think Saturday is dry. We'll bring back some storm possibilities. I think as we head towards Sunday for Pueblo Canyon City, Woodland Park, you're looking like this. Pueblo actually doesn't have a good chance of showers and storms really any day going for. We'll massage the forecast, but right now that's the way it looks. Tuesday, Wednesday, spotty storms for Canyon City and Woodland Park a little better opportunity, but you'll also have some dry time in there, especially Thursday and then again Saturday. We'll be right back. Need inspiration?